I think it's working. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, now I think it's working. Yeah, it should come up to the time to just take a few seconds before it comes up. All right. Okay, you're up. You're Boom. Good. Okay. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Let's make sure we can get a good view of everything. There. Hello, how is everybody doing on the quarantine week? What is this? Four, five? I have lost count by now. Um, but I have hope for you. Come make a joyful noise and a mess in your parents' kitchen with me. So, anyone who knows me knows that I love hand percussion. I've got lots of these little things in my little music storage closet. So when it comes to these drums here, there's two kinds of sounds that you try to look for. One side of the drum will make a high sound, so you find that here, and then one, one side of the drum, usually in the middle, but on these bongos it's on the right, will make a low sound. Or on this cajon tab over here, it's in the middle. But what if you would like to make some noise? What if you'd like to get out some quarantine jiggles and you don't have these? Well, what if I told you you have everything you need right in your kitchen? All we need are, we've got pots, pans, Tupperware, if your parents would not like you to use your pots and pans. We've got metal spoons and wooden spoons and big metal spoons. All right. And one of my favorites, if you have a Home Depot or a mop bucket, you can also use this. So, let's see. What you're trying to look for is how you can make two or three different sounds on each pot right here. So, for example, I've got, so if it doesn't have a lid on it, you want to place it upside down, just like that, and tap it right in the middle, or on the side. So right here, I'm using a metal spoon, but, I mean, I said metal spoon. This is a wooden spoon. <laughs> big wooden and big metal spoons, for the most part, sound the same. But if you use a small metal spoon, it gets a little louder in certain parts. So, if you are using pots, you can place your pot, if it doesn't have a lid on it, upside down, to give the sound a place to escape, and hit it either right on the top or right on the side. So you'll notice one will be kind of high sounding, and one will be a little muffled, a little darker sounding. If you have a pot with a lid, those can act like if you were playing a drum set, those can act kind of like your cymbals. You can also hit the side there too, but it doesn't really do too much. If you get tired of that, flip that upside down, since this pot is smaller than this pot, it should make a higher sound. See? Science. So, if you wanted to make a little drum set, whew, that's loud, isn't it? But, so if you turn the spoon and hit it on sort of this back side right here, it gets a little quieter. If you turn it and hit it on the corner, it's louder. It kind of depends on, you know, the rules of your household. All right. So here is more of a skillet sort of pan. It works exactly the same way, but you're going to get more of a ring to it. 
much darker, much lower tone here. So what you want to do is you want to find the different places you can hit these pots and try to make a pattern. And see how many people you can bring into it. So if I had someone else with me, I might give them this drum, or maybe I'll generous, I'll be generous and give them two drums. And we can play together. And we can both play rhythms together. Ugh. So if you have brothers and sisters out there, this could be a good way to bond and you know not really uh, get too close to each other without. I don't know. I tried to make a joke about social distancing, and it didn't work out. All right. So the next thing you can use is buckets. So you can use a bucket from Home Depot. You can use a bucket from Lowe's. Any any of those type of stores. You could also use a mop bucket. I have a mop bucket somewhere. I was going to use it, but it looks kind of gross right now. So if you have actual drumsticks, notice that my spoons are drumsticks. I'm corny like that. Um, but if you have actual drumsticks, there's four places you can play the bucket with. You can play it in the middle for a little low sound. You can play it on the corner with a high sound. You can play it on the side for a little muffled high sound, and then you can put your sticks together. So if we were going to do some Google Rock you. There's lots you can do with the bucket. And if you just have spoons, it works the same way. So how about that? All right. The last thing is I'm going to talk about metal cups and Tupperware, just in case your parents would not like you to use pots. Because if I was doing this at home, I don't think my mom would let me use one of her pots. But maybe you'd be like, so a a metal mug, not, not a ceramic mug, but a metal mug can be like a cowbell. You'd want to hold it upside down so that the sound can come out towards the floor and not your ears. And it makes sort of like a cowbell sound. We're not gonna take it. More cowbell. Always use more cowbell. All right, so Tupperware works the same way. You can hold it if you want to. So if you notice, the smaller one will be a lot higher sounding than the bigger one. So it's best if you can find two that you can put together. So you get this. You get that really cool balance of sounds. But if you just have one, then do what you can with the top and the side. Although if you are using Tupperware, you can't really see that. Uh, you want to hold it with this top spoon if you're going to hit the side because it's going to move. Whoop, there it went. So, you know. All right. So how can we apply all these things? Well, we can all play together without, you know, any outside music going on. And if you have, you know, lots of siblings or if you have a song in your head, That could work, or you could play some music and play along to a song. Let's see. I had this up and it is no longer there. It's kind of like my technology theme for this whole thing. It was there and now it's not. Come on, Zoom. Okay. And go. All right, so you want to make something with 
Want to pick something with a nice beat? That you can play along to. So, start out simple. Totally forget that we're quarantined inside for the next six months, right? do a muffled hit like this, where you take a spoon and you hold it here, and then you use your other spoon to hit it like this. Of course, you can only do that with one pot, so choose wisely. something faster. Let's see here. Okay. Once you get a little handle on that. Okay. Here's my little snare symbol right here. I mean, symbol symbol. Now I've got bass, treble, and cymbal. Let 
Chop that up, love that. All right. Back this in the salt city for bit. that music in the background it wasn't too loud um all right and the last thing that we can talk about is there's a lot of hand and body percussion that you can do For example you can clap you can snap you can tap different parts of your body one of my favorite body exercises is taken from it's like a mixture of a girl scout song and a bob marley song where you either take a drum or you pat your legs and you try to do a little heartbeat. You try to match to what your heartbeat is. Um, you can even do your chest if you want to. Might be more accurate. Um, and it sounds like this. You drum while you sing. The words are, if I had the wings of a dove, if I had the wings of a dove, I would fly, fly away, and be at peace. Or at least if there was no COVID-19, then I would fly away and be very happy. But since we're at home, here we are in my kitchen, and I'm happy to make some music with you. Hopefully you can join me. So, if I had the wings of a dove, if I had the wings of a dove, I would fly, fly away, and be at peace. Since I have no wings, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. Since I have no wings, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. So all together, whether you're gonna do it on your legs, on your chest, or snap it, whatever you want to do, kind of like this one. But if I had the wings of a dove, if I had the wings of a dove. I would fly, fly away, and be at peace. Or, you know, get one of these buckets. If I had the wings of a dove, if I had the wings of a dove, I would fly, fly away, and be at peace. Since I have no wings, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. Since I have no wings, since I have no wings, since I have no wings, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. And then you can play with it, like, uh, you know, take your own words and song. I 
can think of one that's pretty you know, pretty popular. Like, uh, if I wasn't stuck at home, if there was no coronavirus, I would leave, leave my house and enjoy outside. Or going shopping, or going to Target, going to the mall. Going to see the movies, not paying $20 to rent a movie that just came out. But since I can't go out, since I can't go out, since I can't go out, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. Since I can't go out, since I can't go out, since I can't go out, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. So these are all examples of how you can use some of your own household tools from pots, pans, actual drums if you have them, to buckets, to wooden and metal spoons, to you know kind of forget about how we're all kind of in this very odd time and just have some fun. Make a joyful noise, give your parents some earphones earplugs and just have a good time there you go get some aggression out <laughs> all right so if you'd like to come join me i'll be here every friday in may i believe elizabeth has they, they have the schedule and i would be happy to come make a joyful noise with you so bring your pots bring your pans bring your listening ears mugs if you if you want to make a cowbell because we always need more cabo. And I will see you then. Hope everybody can stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane, maybe. And I'll see you in a few weeks. Thank you very much. <laughs>